Wake up. Hey YouTube, we're hey, back. And she, Delilah, she will not give me a moment to say the intro. But we're back with Firewatch, and Delilah must talk to us. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. It's Henry Delilah. How'd you like it if I called you Deli? Or Lila? Or I don't know what else. What Something else witty that you wouldn't like. I'm pretty upset about my typewriter, guys. I use it, like, every day. Like, out of all the days I've been here, I think I've used it every day. Except for today. So just yesterday. But still. Anyways, let's check out this power line. I don't know. I, I think it was that dude. I, right now, our only suspects are the dude and the two girls. And I don't know if they could have made it back here in the amount of time. I mean, we were at the same distance. When I came back, he was, like, coming this way. That dude, he was probably coming right from up here. It's got to be that guy. Some creepy dude. I feel like I was on this path yesterday. Parkour, parkour. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Don't I have any idea hey, about- sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. That's she's sick. Be. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. 
Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Pretty good so far. What do you think I am? Some electrician? Party. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Oh, I think I see it over there. See a wire there, but not there. I was supposed to go up there. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. This one say, Dave, hey, yo, I got your note about needing to talk. And sorry, I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to, tr to throw back a case with, go time traveling. Round your guy, but I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Let's see, a bunch of pine cones. I think that's it. Okay. What? Look at this dude. Hey, buddy. Oh, my. Hi. Well, aren't you adorable? I found a turtle. Whoa, I, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. I can well, adopt it? Something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. What? Uh, can I, I take him? It. Looks like a... Uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Bucket Jr. Oh, I like Bucket, Bucket Jr. Jr. <laughs> I think so. Hell yeah, let's adopt him. We got a turtle, guys. Turtle bucket. Keep hearing <clears throat> I keep hearing the grass rustling and everything. I'm waiting for like a bear to jump out and try to gnaw on my face. Oh, look what I found. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? The hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. That doesn't sound very good. So the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... 
that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ryan Goodwind. Oh gosh. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin <laughs> was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Oh my. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? <clears throat> Another note. What's this one say? Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? Ooh, no, not that. Steve, your man, Ron. I have to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Jimmy Rock having himself in the hammock? Oh my. I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron, okay. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler? And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. That's kind of creepy. Right. Uh, 
I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay, so it's way down here, apparently. I don't think I can walk in the green area. The dark green. I think I gotta go south here. Past Thunder Canyon. Probably down Cripple Gulch again. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. This. Can I crouch? I can just crawl right under that. Probably a programming error. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I don't think I can get over this right now. <clears throat> so we'll just continue. So there was a fire here at one time. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Sad little story. Yeah, that dementia is nasty stuff. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Do you like that? This guy is the freaking king of the flapjacks. Yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. Okay. It's all yours. I like it when I don't fall. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah. You should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. So fleek. <laughs> this, this game is... <clears throat> it's beautiful. I love, love the artwork. Of the feel, the atmosphere. I feel like a machete or something down the road. Chop some branches off if I need to. Must be close to home. 800 feet that way. Jonesy Lakes that way. Let's see, where am I? I think 
going to take a right here. So I don't think we need to go home. Let's go towards Jonesy Lake. Oh yeah, look at there's the there's the box that we looted yesterday. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Well, hopefully I won't fall this time. Looks like I'm all right. Did it. Did it. You got to give them a piece of our mind. What are you doing? Shooting off fireworks, cutting phone lines. Pair of regular vandals. I don't think it matters here. Here's a box. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. So I wonder if that missing guy was the one that I saw on the first night coming back home. He's got PTSD, that's not good. It's kind of scary. These woods are beautiful. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Cool. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep, I'm on it. Love the sun shafts. 
Oh, jeez. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. <clears throat> Freaking gross. This place is beautiful, and they just leave their trash around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Any more trash around? This is. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Not. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Oh. Looks like... I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. I'm not gonna pick up my sheets. The tent looks like it's been through the shroud, oh. which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. Well their tours are got that camera, right? Those are torn it up. might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Uh some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh that's not good. Sound good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Okay. That doesn't look good. All their clothes are tore up. What's this, though? Dear Psycho, I hope you're effing happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. I didn't touch no p -p 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 panties. You're probably a mentally effing axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's <clears throat> no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. All right, I'm going to end this one here. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.